two of my Vandegraaff generators I designed and built. The large one has a 16 inch globe and the small one a 4 inch globe. The large generator has a 6 inch PVC tube that the, uh, supports the upper globe. It has a 5 inch roller and belt that goes from the top to the bottom, a drive motor, and a brush. The top roller is made of wood that's been turned down on a lathe and covered with aluminum tape. The upper brush consists of a piece of aluminum that is 20 mil thick and formed into a knife placed just over top of the belt. Components of the lower base assembly are mounted on a wooden base and covered in an 18 inch aluminum dome. It, the lower roller is driven by a little 110 volt drive motor with a belt and pulley and uh, the frame is made from a sheet steel about 20 mils thick. The lower roller is made of PVC uh, and the belt is made of uh, urethane. Following is a demonstration of the generator in operation. This generator will put out about 300,000 volts and uh, which re will result in a spark that's like four or five inches long. And since the globe has a large uh, area, the capacitance of the globe is, is quite high as compared to a smaller one, so you'll get a lot more energy in the discharge and thus a fat spark. The upper limit on the voltage on this generator is uh, limited by the surrounding uh, things around the object. It will actually, you'll see corona discharge to objects uh, that will bleed some of the charge off uh, before the uh, before it can discharge and so that there's a maximum voltage that it can reach due to the leakage. If you listen closely, you can hear the sizzle as the charge leaks off the large globe. This is the small generator. It has a three inch upper globe and a five inch hemispherical base. Is driven by a little battery, uh, two batteries and a DC motor. Shown is the upper brush assembly with the, the aluminum roller and a wire brush. Uh, this is the base with the motor and batteries that you can see from the back side. Here's a front view of the base with the uh, PVC roller and a rubber band belt and brush. Here it is in operation. Notice that the spark is only about uh, about an inch, which uh, says that it's uh, probably around 80,000, 80 or 90,000 volts.